Hello everyone. This is a case study for parametric modeling design. My name is Hua Yan. The case I want to show today is Harbin Opera House by MAD. Mainly there are three parts for the building I studied. Main building, annex building, and outdoor plaza. This is model I did for the building. And this is function I use for the building modeling. I have group for building, for outdoor plaza, for dome structure, and this is for result of this model. The last part will be analysis for this modeling. Firstly, I will introduce you how I create this basic structure. So first I use a certain nerve control point to create this nerve curve and then I yeah, use a scale loft and uh, move to, to create this surface and this uh, special point because here is lower than other point of the nerve curve so I change the coordinate of the point to change the elevation um, and uh, for these variables is for this main building so you can change the height of building the degree of curve and the thickness of wall and so for in terms of plaza because a plaza here has different variables such as radius and uh, head elevation uh, compared to the main building so i abstract this point separately so we can smoothly change the plaza shape without to change up the main building so that is um, part for foundation and then i will continue for dome ceiling after the curve we got from last step, we can use the control point to get the suitable location of this um, mesh for ceiling dome. And also after this uh, manipulating of the uh, coordinates of point and the function of wave bird, eventually can get this mesh for the ceiling. Also we have these variables for scale and uh, movement to get a suitable location and size for the ceiling. In this part, I will use kangaroo room to create a dome ceiling. Um, so uh, put a U-force will create a dome like this. However, uh, in the project, the building have more like the wave shape. So I put more control point to create this shape more fit the building. So in the project here, um, I use uh, this two value to control the shape of dome. So that will be stiffness and uh, uh, force for uh, the vector. And also I got this close point and manipulate this point with core index um, to get this four control point to eventually get the shape of ceiling I want. For the ceiling structure, we have two layers in the building. The first one will be the beam structure, the second one will be the glass window structure. So I will um, combine these two layers to create the whole ceiling structure. So the first one will be beam structure. I have two options for this. First will be I use weave bird function to find all the line in the mesh and then create pipe use these lines and so I got this shape kind of mesh. So the second mesh will be I use uh, all the point in the mesh and also can then define this point and then connect the, this point with adjacent point eventually get the mesh shape like this. And then will be for the glass window. So first step is I use uh, the face function and the surface point function to convert mesh to surface. And then I use the uh, weave and the uh, degrade function to create this diamond shape glass window. Last part will be analysis. So in this part, well, there will be some uh, data information of this structure, pipe length and area and total length of area of this building of different layers will be in come out. 
and also have color coding which can input for this, this mesh and this building. After bacon, we will get this, um, this solution for the building. And also for the second part will be the curvature analysis. And uh, all I get this point and uh, all the curvature of the building will be showed in this color. And, so it, and this will be really helpful for further study. Okay, thanks for your listening.